Mike Lindsley back with you. ML Sports Take here, uh, brought to you by Empower Federal Credit Union and Stanley Law Offices. Call Joe today. It's simple. Just call Joe, stanleylawoffices.com. 21-13 to halftime from Denver. Buffalo with three tremendous touchdowns. What can you say about Josh Allen? This guy's been unbelievable. The play fake on the first touchdown with the fake reverse, almost kind of side screen fake on top of that, and then the throw to Dawson Knox, and then Josh Allen running it in, um, seeing all the blocks all the way, going and running left, showing the ball. And then the third touchdown uh, was another great, great play, just a bullet down the uh, down the middle for Allen. He's just been absolutely amazing in this football game. And I think with the Bills, the one thing you have to look at is they just they respond pretty much to everything. And it's going to be interesting coming out of the second half. We know this team has been traditionally weak in the second half, many times in the third quarter. And, of course, in the fourth quarter, they've been a little shaky as as well just a couple weeks ago that was going on although in the Pittsburgh game they seem to turn it around after the Taron Johnson interception pick six to end the first half Denver I thought got a freebie at the end of the first half what a horrendous call on Matt Milano he comes right in on the blitz and tackles Drew Locke around the calf area my god what are you supposed to do in this league you can't hit a guy in the chest you can't hit a guy in the shoulder you can't hit a guy and tackle him around the ankles he comes in and tackles him in between the ankles and the knees right at the calves and he still gets called for the penalty a delayed call I thought it was total bullshit uh, and then you look at the Bills across the board. I think defensively they have been pretty good. I mean, Butler and, and company, Addison and company, Jerry Hughes, they've been wreaking havoc and all over the place. Tremaine Edmonds pretty good and Trey White pretty close to a couple of interceptions. They've been batting balls uh, in the lane and all, all the rest. So, uh, so far so good for the Bills. And again, the turnover, the fumble by Andre Roberts in the first half, you rarely see the kick returner, punt returner, uh, just a tremendous specialist of the Bills, arguably an underrated MVP of this team. You very very rarely see him fumble, but he calls the fair catch, takes his eyes off it, and it goes off of him. Denver gets the possession and takes it in for their for first score. But then again, the Bills immediately respond with a touchdown of their own. This team likes to react. They like to respond. And hopefully the Bills can close this thing out in the second half with just enough to beat a Denver team that will be tenacious in the second half. Bradley Chubb and company getting into it on the sidelines. They want to win this game badly as well and show the league that there's still something left out there in the Mile High City. But right now it's halftime, 21-13 Bills. The big, 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 big story is Josh Allen playing once again at an MVP level. ML Sports Take brought to you by the Vince Aguera Consulting Group, Bryant and Stratton College, Bear Creek Restaurant, and our good, good friends over at Ken's Auto Detailing.